All right, folks, we've got Akil Stokes here on the Trading Nut YouTube channel. We've just done an epic podcast, so go and check that out after this. Uh, link below the video, or you might be here on the Trading Nut site. Now, uh, also do remember to subscribe to this channel and like the video. You're about to get some wicked education here. So, Akil, over to you. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Awesome. I got a, a pretty decent setup for you. This is one that's on my radar. I wouldn't consider it an A plus trade. And we spoke earlier about good trades versus great trades, but I think it's a really good trade that will really provide an example of the process that I go through whenever I look at a price chart. And I guess first and foremost, I believe in a formula of consistent analysis plus consistent execution equals consistent results. So if you're consistent in how you read a price chart, you're reading, you're looking at the same type of charts each day, you're looking for the same type of things in the chart each day, you're gonna find the similar type of trades. You're gonna be consistent in the type of trades that you find. Then if you can get over those, over those psychological battles of not shooting yourself in the foot and actually take what you're supposed to take and not sabotage it, um, you should be able to achieve consistent results. So there's an easy four step process that I follow when I go through, um, really any price chart in any market, it's called IPDE, stands for identify, predict, decide, and execute. So the first thing I wanna do is identify where is price trading at, right? So I'm on the pound dollar um, daily chart right now. And again, this is the not the greatest setup in the world, but it is one that we can do a, a nice example on. And the first thing that I notice is that we are trading above a previous level of structure, right? We've market came up to this level. We've tested it a few times. Most recently we've rallied up and we've broken and closed above previous structure highs. So when I see this break and close above previous structure highs, when I identify that break and close, it allows me to make the prediction that price action is likely to continue up versus continue down. So right there, I've already really solidified my bias in the market. Um, I think something that gets a lot of traders in trouble is they go into the price chart and they're looking for everything. Um, they, they look for, I can buy doing this, I can sell doing that. And they have really no clue of, of what they're looking at. They get paralysis analysis where they freeze up. So one of the first things that I want to do is I want to really determine what direction do I predict the market to go in? And what direction do I want to focus all of my energy on? So when I see that higher, high, higher close, it allows me to predict that price is likely to go up. Now, that prediction is a three-part prediction. So the first part is what direction is price likely to go? The second part is where is price likely to go to? And this is where um, the ability to read a price chart comes in handy. Now, there's going to be two kill zones that I pay attention to. Uh, kill zones are just levels that I expect price to go to here on the chart. The bigger one is gonna be from right here about 127.20s where we're currently trading up to these highs. And the smaller one is gonna be really right in this level at the highs. Um, so those are the two levels. So you can see it's not, a, it's not a grade A trade because we're already in kind of that minor level of structure, but I still do think we can push up to that higher level. So it is an opportunity that is still tradable. Now, that's the second part of the prediction. Where is price or what? Uh, what direction is price likely to go is one. Where is price likely to go to is two. The third part is how is price likely to get there? And really there's only two ways, right? Price action could either go straight up or we can put in some type of relief, some type of pullback and then go straight up. Now for me personally, just based on my trading style, um, the pullback trade, right? So looking for that relief is how I like to get involved in the markets. So what I would do is I would go down to a lower time frame down to the four hour, and I would look for a pullback, right? We have a previous level of structure right here. If we kind of draw out the ebbs and flows of the market, make this a different color to make it a little clearer for you. Where the market extends, we retrace, we extend, we, we retrace, we extend. If we can come back down into this level of structure, come on box, there we go. That's going to provide me with an opportunity to get long. Obviously, I need to wait for my entry reason in that level to get long, but that's going to give me an opportunity to get long. And you can see when you get involved in these pullback trades, we don't know where it's going to happen. Let's just assume right here in the middle, you're going to have a risk that needs to be below previous structure because if price violates this level, I know I'm wrong, so I want to be out of the trade. You can have very conservative targets at a retest of the previous structure highs right here. You can see that's going to give you about a 1.35 
to one risk reward. And then again, if you're shooting for that higher level, let's just shoot this over here. That's going to give you a much greater risk reward and bada boom, bada bing, you put yourself in a trading scenario where one, the probability of the market going in your direction um, is in your favor. More importantly, you're not risking that much. So you don't have to have a super high win percentage when you're trading like this to be a consistently profitable trader. I'm historically about 50%. I range from about 45 to 55. So I don't really win too much more than I lose. The key is I try to put myself in as many scenarios like this where when I win, I win a lot more than I lose. And that risk management is what keeps my account um, flowing in the right direction. Nice. Love it. Absolutely brilliant example there, guys. If you are looking at this and it went a little bit fast for you, I didn't think it went too fast, but please go back and watch it again because there's like massive amounts of knowledge and insight in here that you should be picking up on. Um, well, look, before we wrap up this, what's the best way for these guys to get hold of you? Well, I'm available all over social media, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram. I'm pretty active on there. It's not all trading stuff. I just feel like having fun with life, but um, at Akil Stokes RTM, again, at Akil Stokes RTM, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube as well. I do a weekly video. And of course, uh, the company's website is www.tier1trading.com. I think we have the best community of traders in the world, um, both uh, consistently profitable traders and aspiring traders. So if you get a chance, hang out on the site, um, get some ideas, rub shoulders with these traders and, uh, you know, put yourself in a situation where you have a community that helps you improve. Brilliant. Look, guys, you can also head to tradingnut.com where we've just done this interview. As I mentioned at the start of the show, do remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like this video. It's a great video, guys. You've got to give it a like, seriously. Um, look, thanks you once again for coming on. It's been fantastic having you on here, Akil. Uh, all the best. And um, yeah, guys, we'll see you in the markets.